I have here uh, three different models of solar servos here. I've got a standard size solar D770. I have a mini size D658 and then I have a micro size D650. So this might be used in uh, airplanes or um, uh, a little bit larger helicopters, the standard size servos. The mini servos are used in smaller airplanes or also quite common. Um, this would be the right size for a 500 helicopter like the EXI 500. And then the, the micro size would be used in smaller foamy airplanes, small profile foamies, that kind of thing. Or also the 450 helicopters and the uh, 250 helicopters. All three of these are digital. They all come with uh, a little package of the, the screw and then the, uh, the servo arms. This, these two came with this kind of a package and then this, uh, the micro servo came with uh, this kind of a package with the disc okay, and the arms. Um, the, the thing that I'll, I'll say is that I believe that these, um, based on opening them up, or I know that they are, they're, they're rebranded uh, uh, Baton. Uh, servos. That's the same company that makes the EXI servos. I find that these are actually a little higher quality. Uh, I did some testing for the servo centering and they're definitely better than the EXI servos. So uh, that, that's one thing to keep in consideration. They're just a tad more expensive than the EXI servos but they're definitely worth it um, if you can find the right size and speed of what you want. In terms of the quality, I did take some pictures of these opened up in the back and the, one of the nice things about like the standard size servos, they're all like uh, uh, silicone glued in for the, for the connections. It's got a little uh, rubber strain relief here, so this, the standard size servos are really nice in terms of how well they're put together compared to the budget brand stuff that you see out there that are sold really, really cheap. And just like with the EXIs, the solar servos on the back They've got a little piece of a rubber neoprene in there to keep the wires from bouncing around. One thing you'll find about with the cheap, especially the cheap uh, Tower Pro, and, or I should say inexpensive Tower Pro servos in the micro sizes, you'll find that the wires are kind of hanging and um, that can lend itself to failures in flight over time due to vibration. Uh, but I did some uh, servo centering testing on these. I was very impressed. You'll be able to see that. Uh, I'm going to do some flight testing with these next, but I wanted to get this video out just to, to show you what I have. And at, uh, at My Cool Heli and My Cool RC, I'm going to have a, a link there where I'm going to show the different size servos and links to them so you can compare those to uh, if you're looking at high tech servos or other servos, what, what would compare it and make it a little bit easier to, to navigate. I have a test set up here to compare servo centering. I have a solar servo over here and that is the D650 and over here I have a high tech and that is the digital 5065 middle gear okay so what I have is I've got double sticky taped some wire tie ends on each of them and the length is the same and I'm comparing how well when I move the stick and bring it back does the wire tie come back to the same position or not and they are pretty dead even in terms of how well they center They are also pretty darn close in terms of speed. So this 50, this uh, Solar Servo 650 is pretty impressive in terms of the centering. How well it comes back to the same point. You can see that I have the uh, I have the Solar Servo. 650 it's it's kind of aligned a little bit below that mark and it's always coming back to the same point just below that mark sometimes the high tech ends up a little bit above the mark and sometimes below it so 
It's almost like the solo servo is a tad better. In this setup to do some servo centering testing, I have a, on the right hand side, I have a solar servo. Let me get a zoom in view here. I have a solar servo D658 and I am comparing that to a high tech 5245 metal gear. So that's uh, they're both digital. Okay, so I'm going to line up my equidistant wire ties. Okay. And as I move them back and forth, I'm going to see how well they come back to the same point. You can see on the right hand side with the solar servo, it's coming up dead center. Right now I'm moving one side and the high tech is coming up pretty much dead center as well in that direction. Now I'm going to go in the other direction and the solar servo is doing better than the high tech. The high tech is coming out a little bit above. Solar, cell, solar servo is coming out either dead nuts on or a little tad above. You can see going in different directions, the solar servo is actually doing a better job than the high tech. And these two servos, for the speed and the torque, they are rated uh, really well for a 500 size helicopter. So if you got a an Align or a, a EXI or a clone 500 helicopter, these two servos are going to do pretty good for cycling. You can also see that in terms of the speed and coming back, they're coming back to the center at the same speed. They're both coming back at the same point, the same. I have two servos here. These are standard size servos. I don't have a, a high tech digital standard size servo. Um, so I'm going to do one thing here on this one. I'm going to compare it to a little bit cheaper of a servo. But on the servo, serv uh, solar servo, I have a D770. It's a digital standard size. And for the standard size comparison, I have a cheaper Hectronix. HX5010. So this is a more of a low-end budget servo. So I can kind of compare the servo centering of the digital solar servo in the standard size to a cheaper one. So here, we line up the camera a little bit better. You can see where they're lining up. Okay, in terms of their centering by default here, and and I'm going to move the the sticks. And you can see that the Hectronix is pretty inconsistent. Sometimes it's even, sometimes it's above, sometimes it's below. But that solar servo is coming back to the same, it's stopping in the same point every time. And you can see now I'm going another direction and the Hectronix actually overshoots and doesn't line up. And it's, it's hard to tell here, but I can see myself with my own eyes that the solar servo is a fa little bit faster servo. It's coming back to the center a little quicker. But as this is a servo centering demonstration, I'm trying to focus on that. And you can see that compared to a, a cheaper servo, somebody might say, oh, well, the cheaper servo, the specs are the same. Who cares? Analog, digital. You know, there is a difference. Um, so if you have, say, an airplane, and you have as much as, uh, I'm showing about 45 degrees of movement here. Okay, if you have 45 degrees of deflection in your control surface, you'll see how much error you're going to get in terms of how it's going to come back to center. You can take care of that in, say, a trainer airplane where you just don't put in mechanically as much deflection. Let's say that you put in like that much. Then you're not going to notice the servo centering. But when you get into 3D airplanes or you get into helicopters where you want it to come back to the same point every time and not be drifting around, the servo centering really becomes more important. And uh, once again, if you looked at my other videos, uh, the servo companies don't specify their servo centering, you know, and that might be so many degrees of error, plus or minus, 
uh, probably because there's a little bit of variation from servo to servo, but so far of the, ser the solar servos that I have tested, they've all been very, very good in terms of servo centering. I'm very impressed at how well they are when I compare them to say the high techs or the cheap end or um, I have done some testing of the EXI servos and the solar servos are definitely better centering than the EXI's. You'll also find uh, on the Hobby Parts webpage or X Heli or Nitro planes you'll notice that the solar servos also um, some of them are, have a coreless motor and there are some advantages that you can look up and uh, in terms of why does a coreless servo work better or last longer. Um, but when you can get one with a coreless servo, that's a, that's a good thing, especially with a tail servo. But uh, I'm very impressed once again with these solar servos. This is the standard digital, standard size digital solar servo, the D770. And I have been comparing it to a lower end Hextronic HX5010.